Grease Pencil Tool has been around in Maya for quite a while, but I find that it flies under the radar and some people aren't even aware that it's in there. It is basically accessible through the viewport. So if you look at the icon bar at the top of the viewport, there'll be a little button that will allow you to bring up the Grease Pencil UI. And from here, we can go in and we can set essentially what are keyframes for our drawings. And then we can use our brush controls to set the color and the size and the shape or form of our brushes. And then we can go in and begin to make annotations. Now, as we make annotations, those will get stored at that particular point in time on a frame, basically an image that's referenced from that frame. So we can mark up things like trajectories and things like arcs of motion or just simple notes and annotation that uh, could be saved for later or perhaps passed to another artist. You can also export these and import these so that you can edit them in Photoshop if you need to pretty them up a little bit. And that's represented by tick marks in the timeline, which you can see here, the little blue kind of, uh, kind of light blue tick marks. So here we're actually using it as a way of blocking out our animation. So rather than just doing simple annotations, we can actually go in and we can block out our animation based on key frames or specific key poses. And then we can do ghosting as well. So we can see the preceding and succeeding frames. And then we can animate relative to that. So we can start from a 2D standpoint to quickly mock up our base animation and then animate with our 3D model uh, and rig and so on on top of that.